This is the cow shed, and it looks like one. But inside, it's been transmogrified into a fantastical library of dreams. Working from home has never looked so good. The cow shed's transformation was the vision of the architect Aidan Crawshaw. Can you describe the building as it was when you found it? That was a farm building, which had just had things sort of dumped into it, totally unloved for 50 years. And it still looks like a very tidy shed, doesn't it? That's the point. It is a surprise when you go in there. This is great. I really like it. It's a dramatic change. It's, it's also, it's beautiful. We wanted to do something which lived up to expectations, which is fabulous. It is absolutely fabulous. Within the squat form of the cowshed, Aidan has magically stretched space, forming a towering vaulted ceiling that makes you feel you're in a church, not a farm building. This startling effect was made possible by some lateral or maybe vertical thinking. We dug it out. You've gone down 400 mil. Exactly. But it had to be all dug out by hand with machine tools, but uh, yeah. they worked so hard. Wow. Yeah, unbelievable. They were digging there for two months and it completely changes the proportions on the inside. Exactly. The RIBA judges admired the cowshed's classical proportions and the clever way Aidan has left sections of the vaulted ceiling open to light the space. It's certainly sophisticated, but a closer look reveals a building that delights in its humbler origins. But the, all this is very, very straightforward. It's not fine cabinet making. It seems that even the shelves, actually, the way they're set into the posts are, are kind of quite work a day. We're trying to imagine how you would make things if you were on a farm, you know. Um, yeah, with, with one with, chisel. With chisels and saws. So these, each shelf is slid into two sockets. Exactly, yeah. Which actually comes from a design of a hay rack. Um, oh, really? Yeah. And all of the ironmongery is as similar as possible to what farm ironmongery would have been like or is like, which is, you know, sort of wrought iron hammered out in, yeah, in made a smithy. In, in made in a local stuff. forge, yeah. yeah. You know, the, the, the top of that pendant light. Yeah. You, you know, we got the builders just to make a black um, plate to go on there. So there's yeah, a yeah. kind of it's echo finished. there. There's a kind of yeah, yeah, blacksmith's yeah, yeah. finish. All these rustic touches endow the space with an authentic lived-in feel, and it is designed to be lived in. Beyond the library, there's a spacious office and oak-lined thunderbox, and a simple practical kitchen. As for the books themselves, well, they are part of a first-rate collection. It's a maxim that this transformed cowshed lives up to, and that its owner, Natalie, takes great pleasure in. When you come in, it's a bit of a wow, but it is not over the top in any way. Yeah. It's not daunting. It's friendly. I find it's, it's totally peaceful. I'm somebody who writes letters still, and this is a perfect place to write letters. I've always thought that you can learn a lot from books, but I didn't expect to learn so much from a library. I mean, what this place teaches me is that, well, as well as using sheds and outhouses for storing a lawnmower or pursuing a hobby or even turning into a granny annex, we can also use these buildings as adjuncts to our daily lives. I mean, taking things like cooking and eating, reading, and actually putting those activities into another building. Well, this is going to be really fun. What do you reckon, Nick? Can you see how this might work? Yes, I can. <laughs> that is a first for me. You don't have no idea what happens in the future. You can't see the future. Anything could happen. Oh, wow. You've done it! Wow. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, this looks stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Pretty, pretty gobsmacking, huh? Yeah?